one big one we come into is when somebody's retaining wall right on their property line, you have to decide whether you want the wall on the property line and then the fence goes behind it, in which case, you know, is the fence in your neighbor's yard now? Is the fence in your yard? Is it taking up some space? So sometimes you run into this thing where because of the retaining wall, you're going to actually lose some of your property space usability. Um, and so there's some decisions that have to be made. Other drawbacks, uh, and this goes back to that four foot rule. Uh, you don't want the retaining wall to be too high because then it's a hazard because you're creating a cliff that the kids or people or animals or anything can fall off of and get hurt. <laughs> so there's obviously railings, you know, there's bushes, there's railings, fences that you can do. And so often with the retaining wall, there's going to be some other things you need to invest in uh, that make, can make the project more expensive. But uh, you, got, you got to consider those things.